Hello guys, this is Gareth with Mountain Coffee Outdoors. I have something important to tell you, so stick around. I have a confession to make. I used to be afraid, I used to be intimidated of certain outdoor skills which I just thought were hard. I didn't trust in my ability to use those skills, to learn them, to master them. And that's the way things went for several years. More specifically, I'm talking about some fire starting skills. First, it started with flint and steel. Once upon a time, I had a flint and steel set that wasn't very good, but I had no idea how to use that thing. I just kind of figured that you just bang the flint against the steel and the sparks would come off of it. Had no idea that you had to really scrape it along a sharp edge. So I struggled to even get sparks off of that set. Eventually I found a chunk of quartzite and I discovered that if I would strike that uh, striker against the quartzite, it would throw some sparks out every once in a while, but it still didn't do too great. For many years, I was under the impression that flint and steel fire making was really difficult just because it was so hard for me to get a spark. I also didn't understand that you really needed to use char cloth or some sort of uh, char or, or chaga, something like that to catch the spark. I was just trying to throw sparks into a bird's nest of, of jute fiber, and it didn't work. So for the longest time, I was intimidated of that skill. And finally, I learned more about it. I got a better flint and steel kit. And about five months ago, I discovered it wasn't that hard. It's not hard to get sparks. It's not hard to get sparks at all. I actually learned that flint and steel fire making was pretty easy. And then there's friction fire. Over the years, I've seen people on TV shows really, really struggle trying to make friction fires. And a lot of times they fail. And that gave me the impression that friction fire making was very difficult and really hard to pull off. Friction fire intimidated me big time. But you know what? I decided that I was going to take that skill on. I was going to learn it and I was gonna accomplish it. I decided to quit being afraid, to quit being intimidated by that skill and to just do it, just learn it, just make it happen. So I got a piece of wood, a piece of pine. I took an ax, I took a knife. I made a fireboard out of that log. I made a spindle. I looked around for a while and I finally found a good piece of cedar that would make a good bow. I made a bow. Found a good chunk of cottonwood bark, nice thick bark that would work for a good socket. And I was set. And now friction fire doesn't intimidate me anymore.
And there you have it. Fire from a bow drill. Decide you can do it, and you can do it. So there you go, a friction fire. I managed to light it. Why was I so intimidated and scared to try this skill for so many years? Yeah, it's not easy, but you can do it. I decided I could do it, I set myself to it, and I did it. I worked hard at it, and I accomplished it. Don't let other people's failures and struggles scare you or intimidate you. Believe in yourself, believe in your abilities. If you believe in yourself and work hard, you can accomplish almost anything. Just do it. Just try it. Who cares if you fail? Who cares if you fail over and over and over before you finally pull it off? Just try it. Just do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated. Don't look at somebody else having a hard time with something and think that that's going to happen with you. Live your own life. Trust your own abilities. Build your own abilities. Learn. Expand. There's no limit. Just do it. I wanted to share this little struggle of mine and my triumph in the hopes that maybe somebody else will look at something that they're too afraid to try or thinks that I might as well not even try because I'm just gonna not be any good at it and just do it. Try it, believe in yourself. So if you like this video, if I managed to inspire you somehow, hit the like button Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notifications, leave any comments below, and this is Gareth with Mountain Coffee Outdoors. I'll see you next time.